Hey everybody, it's Rob from Flailthroughs. This is Gundam Battle Operation 2, and this is a request from Thomas, who wanted the GPO-4 on the ground in mint green, dark purple, and a little touch of orange. So, I just went with the default color placements and modified them to that uh, specification. Um, GPO-4 has a really great long-range rifle. It has an EPAC beam rifle as a sub-weapon that uh, can do pretty good damage. It, I am not so accurate with it that I can actually hit somebody from that distance on the ground, not a pilot anyway, but I can put most of a uh, E-Pack into that Byerland and pull back. I think this is probably the level 1 GPO-4, which is a 550. It goes up to level 4, which, you know, 700. But, this, yeah, this is not a 700 crowd, a crowd I'm looking at. Um, apology if I kind of, uh, ah, sound a little weird, but... That one tooth is bugging me, so I've got a mouthful of benzocaine gel, and I can't feel my tongue. So that is, uh, that is gonna just make things a little weird. Uh, let's see, I think I hit one of my allies. I will send an apology, perhaps, if I did, but, uh, I almost wish it would announce ally hits in the, uh, readout in the corner, just so I know for sure and can, you know, send my apologies, but, ah, probably just clogged things up terribly. Uh, let's see, we are all kind of really uh, concentrating on uh, the things down that corridor for the most part, but that leaves the Byerlant wide open for me, so if I can keep myself from getting killed, I should be able to pretty much destroy it, even at the cost of overheating my rifle, but uh, unfortunately there is, I believe, a Gerbera Tetra. Uh, oh no, it's a Super Gundam Guardian, which, yeah, as a fellow support has, you know, neutral damage on me, which is dangerous. And basically it's one missile away from killing me, but I, you know, uh, my ally and I took it out before it could. And, let's see, I think that was the, uh, one of the Galbaldis that was, uh, helping me. Might be the Gaz R. I can't quite tell them all apart by the portrait at this point, but, uh, ah, got the Byron before it could get me. Ah, always feels good to be able to, uh, you know, survive multiple fights uh, on a hundred hit points or whatever. But, uh, let's see, yeah, we took that out, and it is time for me to probably... Nope, there's more enemies coming. So that's it, it's probably time for me to set down somewhere and get repairs, but to be honest, I, I would take so many repairs to be viable to survive more than a couple of hits from an enemy, I may as well just stay in the fight until I die. Like now! So yeah, there's time to repairs and time to, uh, to not, but yeah, when I have almost no legs and 100 health, yeah, that just, I the time I'd take repairing is significantly more than my respawn time, so don't need to be leaving the uh, team down a uh, member for that long. Uh, but yeah, it's I'm really enjoying the GPO-4 uh, on the ground, uh, likewise the Super Gundam. Uh, thinking about other things they could move to the ground, and I'd like to see the Zaku Mine Layer. Uh, might not be too great on the ground, but I, I wouldn't mind seeing it. Uh, also, while we're at it, the bishop would be fun, but, uh, I, I kind of doubt we'll see that, and that's fine, but, uh, yeah, there's, there's a few space-only options we could, uh, see move to the ground. Jim Striker Kai, for one. It's not hugely, you know, it's kind of like a midpoint between the Striker Custom and the Jim Striker, but I'd like to see it on the ground. While we're at it, you know, while we're at it, would not mind seeing the uh, Pale Rider Space Types uh, skill set on the ground. It's basically a general uh, Geo 5. But to a certain extent, the uh, to a certain extent that kind of overlaps with the uh, uh, Pale Rider D2 in a way. But though that's a support, so I don't know what I'm talking about. Let's let's just move on. And going to hit it with the big uh, shot. It's uh, the big downswing. It tackled though, so it survived. But all that gave me time to reload my guns, and it's dead, so there we go. Okay, yeah, that person is running 50 points down, because the uh, GPO-4 does not come in until... And that was just a poorly placed shot. GPO-4 does not come in until 550, so they were definitely uh, 50 points down in this room. No sin in that, of course, just kind of uh, surprising, and since I forget what cost I uh, was playing at, and kind of judge it by the people I'm uh, scoring points off of, kind of can be confusing until I remember, oh yeah, that doesn't come in at that cost. But, see, that uh, Proto Stark Jagan is almost uh, gone. Um, I th yeah, I think they've got both the Pro... No, it's 
something else is almost gone, because here's the Proto Stark right in front of me, uh, kind of killing me a little bit. And I can get some damage in. Yeah, it's. I think it's about the only thing I've hit so far that I did sub thousand with that with that uh, uh, EPAC rifle. But yeah, got myself caught in a crossfire and I'm dead. But we're doing fairly well. We're about 2,700 points ahead, or 17, 1,700. I think sounds right. Yeah. Oh, brain. Yeah. Uh. Again, this I'm recording this the night after daylight savings time, and Brain and I are just not quite in sync tonight. Um, well, my brain may be in the sink, but uh, uh, I'm kind of considering other plumbing options as to where it is at the moment. So, But 2 minutes 20 seconds left, we've got a lead. I can find something to shoot and shoot it, because again, the range on this thing is phenomenal. And I th may have just stunned my allies again, but I'm just going back to the sub-weapon because it has build stun, so will not affect my allies so much. So, I've been, I've been told build stun does not affect allies, so, you know, I hope that's true because I'd like to stun people less. Um, okay, there's that, and time to get around this corner. Now we're 2,500 points ahead. Now we're actually 3,000 points ahead, so yeah, I'll take it. Let's see, doing a lot of good damage to that, which is... Is that a camper? It is... No, it is definitely not a camper, because there's a shield. Uh, G4? Might be a G4. Might be a G5. I can't really tell, because it is in very dark colors in a very dark alley. It's a Mark II. Or is it a Barzam Custom? Either way, it has the Mark II shield, so that narrows it down. It's a general, at any rate. So, I'm just going to follow it and kill it if I can. There we go. Yep, okay, so, and there's a Regelgu, and I'm out of feet, so I need to maneuver a little bit more carefully. If I just do one boost at a time and don't, and wait for my legs to recover, I, uh, with the amount of leg I have left, I can boost. But just barely. We've got 56 seconds left, there's not a lot of point in my uh, backing off and getting repairs. Uh, but they've taken out my legs, so I'm not going to be backing off anywhere, I'm going to be dying. Still got the lead, though... Leads narrowed down a little bit to about 2,000. That's fine. That's still a lead, but yeah. They managed to bring it back a little bit. I don't think they bring it back well enough to win, but they they definitely uh, give a good showing. So, 20-some uh, seconds left. I'll have about 15 seconds, I think, 20 to 15, to do anything once I drop back in. So, we'll try. And let's see. Yep, about 15 seconds. So let's find something to shoot, hopefully. Uh, or not. If I can't, I can't. We've got the lead. We're going to keep the lead, so... But be nice to finish something off if I could. Well, got some shots, but everything uh, uh, I'm hitting is probably t uh, type neutral for me. So, yeah, just was not able to do any significant damage by the end of it. But we pulled it off, and I think I did fairly well. So let's, let's see if the stats agree with me. Yeah, I, I'd say so. 4,000 out of 12,000 points, 118,000 damage, top diversions, and let's see, um, how many kills, how many deaths, how many all of that stuff. Come on, you can do it. Uh, okay, six kills, three deaths, that is not bad at all. So, that is going to do it for today's Gundam Battle Operation 2. We'll be back soon. Till next time, everybody take care and have fun. Later! But yeah, if we get any space units moved to ground again, my my first nominees are going to be Jim Striker Kai and Pale Rider Space. But Pale Rider Space I can see not happening because it's, you know, space. But it does it does have the feed. So it 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 could do it, really. But Jim Striker Kai I would particularly like to see just cuz I it's something I've always wanted to use more, but melee in space not my favorite thing. I think both of the uh decent rounds I've ever run with it here, in fact, are from Nurse Gundam, so, yeah.